Okay, so this is the command set, and we're going to uh, set it up to tune in some uh, AM broadcast. So this is, when you throw this switch, this is what a radio ought to sound like when you turn on. Down to set, here's the pitch. Swing and he pops it up foul right side, which will go out of play. Jason Worth is leaning against the dugout railing, talking to Dusty Baker. Now this, uh, the game that's on the radio right now is, um, it's a skip game. I think it's coming in from Atlanta. So uh, tonight, uh, very good conditions for um, propagation on the AM broadcast band. Doing some CW. All right, so I had a problem with this dynamotor here. Um, I uh, started goofing around with lubricating the bearings a little bit better and uh, reinstalled the dynamotor into the radio and it seized up. And it had always sort of had a rubbing noise. And so the interesting thing is if you, well, if you move the armature the opposite way it, it is supposed to turn, it would run free. If you moved it the other way, it would get stuck. Um, I inspected the uh, bearing uh, races on both sides. This is the low voltage side uh, and this is the high voltage side and I cleaned them out and they're smooth. Um, the bearings are running totally smooth as well as this one. So I don't think uh, it's a bearing problem. They move smoothly in either direction. But I did notice this some uh, chafing here, just some scratching on this armature. And while I was working on this thing, this little piece here popped out. Now it's back in, I snapped it back in place. But it popped out for a minute. This is, there's this little insert in here. And I'm wondering if um, maybe that was actually the problem. So we're going to reinstall these things. I think I'm gonna leave that as it is, it, just, it feels pretty secure now. And then see if um, if it runs free. Oh, and by the way, I, I've uh, I've done a preliminary alignment with the back cover off because there are actually two sets of capacitors here and there on both sides. And so you want to align it with the cover off so that these guys are centered, and then you put the cover on and realign. So I was just going through the realignment procedure when this dynamotor issue uh, occurred. But here's the radio almost uh, reassembled. So um, we're going to take a look at this and see where we're at. Okay, so I took apart the, um, I, I slid this little insulator thing uh, out. And as you can see there, there's definitely rubbing from when the dynamotor was running. But it's not on any other edge. And it aligns with um, this stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is what caused it to stop. So I'm just going to reinsert this guy back in here. Make sure the wires are pressed down flat and um, and be sure to listen for it. Okay, let's have a look at these bearings. I believe that fixed the problem. Look at that. It's like a bicycle wheel. Look at that, man. I'm not even doing anything, and this these bearings are rolling smooth. All right, I'll continue the uh, final assembly. Okay, here we are. We're gonna give it a try with uh, without the high voltage side connected. That's good. That's a good spin down, huh? Okay, here we go. Time to fire back up. We have the signal generator uh, connected to it. And here we go. The dynamo sounds great. And there is the uh, 
400 hertz from the SIG gen. Here it is on AM. And let's check the spin down time. Alright, that, that's a happy dynamo. Alright, here we go. We're going to give it a shot. And uh, tuning into the Canadian WWV, which I believe is the 2.5 and some change. It's not bad for a 40 meter uh, dipole. Of course they broadcast band. Rosex has had great success in the area with the SIBO vacuum. You know, it should be available in the U.S. too. You can already pre-order in our uh, American webpage and it's new wine. The cool thing is you can zero beat AM broadcast stations. There's a zero B. So and you know you're right on frequency. That's a lot of fun. There's zero B. <laughs> anyway. It's a very nice radio. Okay, here is the uh, finished radio. And you can see, rather than hacking this uh, plate here, I just put this on the side. It was simple enough. And there's the wiring harness uh, from the front panel. Uh, this is the speaker. It has a small impedance matching transformer. It's an old commercial, uh, probably police radio speaker. Um, if you look around the back, you know, I really wanted to preserve this unit. This was an unmodified command set. So I used miniature um, banana plugs which fit perfectly into these holes here for all the power and so on and so forth. And I label each one. Um, and here of course is the, the dynamotor. Yeah, it's a very nice unit. It works perfectly well. And the dynamotor just Spins up and spins down quite nicely.
Okay, so here we go. We've got the um, all the panels and cases screwed into the radio. And, you know, you might say, well, the radio's got a lot of scratches on it. It looks like it may have been through the war. And, in fact, this one was built in uh, February 42. So it did go through the war. Most of it, actually. So, anyway, we're going to... Push this back into position here. Connect a um, connect the uh, antenna. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. I placed a little ground terminal right here, and this screw actually go is part of the uh, shielding of the um, front end and LO variable capacitor there. Okay, and what I have to do is turn on my antenna here in a minute. Okay, so we're good to go. There we go. We'll have a listen here. You can tell the dynamotor is uh, getting loaded now. Oh, whoops, looks like the speaker terminal got unhooked. That's my bad. There it is. The antenna has shorted out the uh, speaker terminal. So, here we go. Here's the AM broadcast band. The upper portion of it, at least. Not much activity on 160. Of course, a lot of activity on the AM broadcast band. Anyway, that's my uh, original command set as built and with a minimum replacement of capacitors, so running under dynamotor, no changes to the filament to wiring, nothing like that. So did not change this plate either. Uh, just uh, built my own. It's a very nice radio.